Ew, that's disgusting. Hasn't that guy ever heard of covering his nose? Whatever, let's just wipe it off and hurry up. We're going to miss our train. <sighs> I... I can't breathe. What the heck is going on, brain? Brain! Hmm? Oh, sorry about that. I'm feeling really dizzy, buddies. And I can't seem to think straight. Yeah, everyone seems to be under the weather today. Hey, why the long faces? Doctor, help! We all feel terrible! Hmm, fever, head and body aches, and fatigue? Yup. Coughing and sneezing? <coughs> oh, 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 you, you said, said it. it! Thought so? You, my dear organs, have a viral infection! Oh, man! Why now? Such a nice day out, too! I'm hungry! Uh, what's a viral infection? Viral infections are illnesses caused by a virus. Viruses are small germs that use cells to reproduce. Common viral illnesses include colds, the flu, COVID-19, norovirus, HPV, and herpes simplex virus. Impressive explanation despite the fever brain, A+. <laughs> I try. Ugh. Did you come into contact with anyone sick lately? You bet. Some rude dude sneezed on us. Yup, that'll do it. Viruses get into the body through the nose, mouth, eyes, anus, genitals, or through a break in the skin. Oh, why that? The next time I see that bum, I'll breathe on him so hard. Steady, brother. What kind of viral infection do we have, doctor? I can't say specifically until I swab your nose or throat or take a blood sample. But whatever it is, it's definitely targeting your respiratory system. It's nice to be wanted. Not like this, brother. How long is this going to last? Viral respiratory infections can last anywhere from a few days to two weeks. Oof. Hope we're not in it for the long haul. So what do we do now? For now, I would recommend bed rest and drinking plenty of fluids. You can also take some over-the-counter medications for coughs and colds if you have them. Will do. Some shut-eye actually sounds mighty nice right about now. Ugh. Good night, buddies. Reporting it! Ah, what is it? Arson? Earthquake? St. Patrick's Day? None of the above. It's aliens! Alien invaders! What the? Aliens? You mean with flying saucers and ray guns and no, probes? So far, we have not detected such equipment on the enemy. Our preliminary findings indicated that it might be a virus we're combating. Oh, we already knew that. Impressive deduction, civilian. I am also pleased to report that our white blood cells are hard at work on the field right now, dealing with the invaders. I will be reporting to you continuously for updates on the situation. You do that. Ugh. Meanwhile, I'll do my part for the war effort by falling asleep on this nice, soft bed. Die, maggots! Eat this, you scum-sucking aliens! Ah, stay away! Holy, that's how to do it! <laughs> Did you see the way those uglies turned tail and ran? <sighs> you all right, rookie? <sighs> I'm all right, Sarge. Just need to catch my <gasps> breath. Ah, oh, you'll get used to it, Rook. I remember when I was a fresh recruit. I was scared silly, but now look at me. I'm a bona fide veteran of the battlefield. How long ago was that? 12 days ago, and now look at me. A bona fide veteran of the battlefield. Wow, I hope I get to live that long. Stick with us, rookie, and you'll outlive us both. <laughs> By the way, Sarge, any intel on the enemy we're fighting? Well, son, the only thing we know is that it's a viral attack, and they're targeting the lungs. Lots of coughing and sneezing all over the place, and the rest of the body's getting beat up. Golly gee, that virus is a mean one. Why'd it have to pick on us? A virus doesn't pick, son, it just attacks. Mercilessly, thoughtlessly, it infects any living organism it can latch onto and makes it suffer. It's a monster, the likes of which you've never seen. Jiminy, but we can beat this virus, right, Sarge? Well, son, we'll definitely try our best. Sarge, report from command. The enemy has gathered reinforcements and is returning for a counterattack. Uh, this virus is strong, boys. It multiplies fast like there's no tomorrow. But we mustn't let it get to us. We won't give up until it's beaten lifeless down to the ground. Hoo ah! All right, here they come. Gather your courage, men. This is literally what you were made for. Eat antibodies, you lung sucking parasites! Technically, a parasite and a virus are different things, but I like your gusto! Ah! Oh no! Sarge! I'm done for, boys! Never give up the fight. Report to command. Tell them what we've seen! Sarge! No! <laughs> no.
no. I'm all alone. What do I do now? Never give up the fight. Report to command. Tell what we've seen. Sarge's last words. I've got to warn command. Report, soldier! Mayday, mayday! The virus is multiplying fast! It's got us overrun! We're not gonna make it! We're not! Godspeed, soldier! Reporting in! It wasn't me! I've never even heard of the Shropshire Slasher! The situation on the front line is dire. Our boys need reinforcements. Oh, it's you. Uh, good work and all that. Oh, we all believe in you. Brain, we need to get to a hospital now! Our immune system can't handle the virus. We need an antiviral medication to stop the virus from replicating further and shorten the length of the respiratory infection. Brain, please. I know you're tired and weak, but do the right things. Our boys have sacrificed so much on the front lines. The least we can do is get them reinforcements. As my peacock is in. Hold the mustard, please. Think of little Timmy, Joey, old Mo. They've never known anything except war. They've worked so hard for us, but we're losing brain. Please think of the boys. We need that antiviral medicate. Oh, for crying out loud, enough is enough. Will you please quiet down and let me get some sleep? Not until you get up and take us to the hospital. Why, you? Ugh, might as well, I'm already up. But when we get to the hospital, do you promise to leave me in peace? I swear! Ugh, fine, we'll go. Oh, thank you, Brain. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Ah, shut up. Oh, by the way, you made those names up, didn't you? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, this is it, Sarge. My time's up. I'll see you soon. Don't, Don't give up, soldier. Fight the good fight. Sarge! What should I do? I'm all alone. How do I fight this? There's so many. I'm only in your memory. I can't give you new information. Darn it! What? They did it! Command brought reinforcements! We did it, Sarge! We did it! I'm gonna do you proud, Sarge. I'm not a rookie anymore. I won't rest until the rest of the virus is eradicated. Boo! Who's the party pooper? Don't look at me. Guys, we need some help up here. Sorry, buddies. I'm receiving signals of pain. I can't go on with a party like this. Pain? What kind of pain? It's like a sudden throbbing sensation that keeps bothering me. Thing is, doctor, can you explain this to them? I can't play teacher today. Are you sure you need my help? You always love to see my thunder brain. Seriously. Not now. <laughs> okay. Well, pain is a complex phenomenon that involves multiple processes in the nervous system. What do you mean, doctor? When there's tissue damage or inflammation, specialized nerve cells called nociceptors in the affected area are activated and send electrical signals to the spinal cord and brain. Wait, but do all pains feel the same? Nope. There are types of nerve fibers that carry different qualities of pain sensation. Some fibers carry fast, sharp pain signals that are associated with tissue damage, while other slower fibers carry signals that are associated with inflammation. I understand, but why do some people feel more pain than others, even with the same injury or condition? That's a great question. The perception of pain can also be influenced by various factors such as expectations, anxiety, stress, and past experiences. Wow, poor brain. Okay, okay. Now, can you tell me why I'm in so much pain? Okay, let's see. Hmm, oh, I see what the problem is. Seems that we accidentally sat on a cactus. Subscribe!